I'm Gwen Preston of Resource Maven. We're at the Metals Investor Forum in Vancouver in November, and I'm joined by David Suda of Terax Minerals. David's a new addition to Terax, so uh, great to have a conversation with you on camera here. Uh, Terax, super interesting story, I think. Uh, regional, like a, a district scale gold camp right around a city that was founded on mining, which is Yellowknife up in, up in northern Canada. You guys spent uh, this last field season, the summer, really, you, you weren't drilling, you were covering your bases. You had grown the land package extensively um, over the last the previous year, to the point where you have almost 800 square kilometers now, it's a lot to look at. You kind of want to make sure that you're not missing anything, so you spent a lot of time, you spent the season making sure that you covered the ground, and that really gave you all the information that you needed to go into this meeting that you just had to figure out, okay, what exactly are we doing next? Correct. Uh, that is a, a perfect assessment, assessment of what we did. Uh, we spent the summer at 30,000 feet. Mm. And it's such a big land package that you need to be at 30,000 feet to know where you want to land, right. finally. And so uh, there was a lot of questions coming from the market asking, you know, why weren't you drilling? You know, how are you going to move this forward? Doesn't seem all that focused. So. We spent, uh, you know, a great amount of time sampling and completing a number of other data sets right. in order to really assess, okay, so where, have we, have we, have we missed anything, where yeah. are we going to go, and how are we going to give you guys the confidence that there is a focus plan going forward, and, and you know, as you said, this, this targeting session that we just completed has, has brought us there. Perfect. And so, and the targeting session, I, from what I understand, you haven't come out with all the information yet, but really is bringing you back to North Belt, which is the area where you already have six defined gold zones. I can't call them deposits yet, even though I know you guys have, have models for each of them. Um, and there's a range of styles there. There's some really high grade stuff going on. Mm -hmm. There's some lower grade, more bulk tonnage stuff going on there. So now you have to go in there and, and flesh it out, figure out how to flesh it out to the way that the market, in a way that the market is going to respond. That's right, and we've we've had direction both from the market in terms of what the market wants to see. Mm. Um, you know, high grade results are certainly everybody, everybody loves high grade, yeah, and not everybody loves low grade these days. Um, we've also been informed uh, by the process of having a number of majors come to site who we have CAs with who have, you know told us, well, we actually really like your bulk tonnage area and right. we'd love to see you expand that. Exactly. And so there's that balance um, that we need to find in order to, you know, give ourselves the that cost of capital. We want to have a, a strong share price and at the same time, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we keep the right parties, you know, that we keep the end game in mind. Mm -hmm. um, and with this targeting session, we've really been able to kind of internally uh, flush out a plan whereby we're going to hit and, and, and aggressively focus on targets that are in that core gold area right. um, and start to give people a sense of what an economic scenario looks like. So where do you put a mill? Where does your bulk tonnage fit into it? How do you build ounces around that? Mm -hmm. um, those are the kinds of conversations that we've had. Those, that's the conversation that we want to push forward so that ultimately we're showing the market that we're going to have a conclusion. This isn't just us running around trying to, you know, stake up more ground. And I think that conclusion, that, that plan, a central facility with feed that can come from multiple places, that means that as you find more deposits, which I'm pretty confident you will because this place is littered with targets, it's littered with gold occurrences. As you find more, it all fits in to a model. It all fin and the market can understand, okay, this isn't just, we're finding gold here and we're finding gold here and what does it all mean? Instead, it's, okay, they're adding to the value proposition here. That's right. It's one of the, one of the things or the, t the terms or phrases that gets thrown around a lot uh, in our conversations with our shareholders or prospective shareholders. Um, is how does it all hang together? And so we're always yeah, thinking about how it nice. hangs together. And um, it is a district scale play, so we also don't want to, you know, uh, 
cut ourselves down at the knees and, and lose the optionality yeah. of another major discovery. Yeah. Because um, certainly, you know, as we start to shift towards maybe seeing a gold market, um, people are excited. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, people are excited about new discoveries. So we certainly want to leave ourselves op uh, 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 open to having those. Absolutely. And the district scale really matters too from those corporates that are interested in you because if a major is considering setting up shop in a new jurisdiction like Northern Canada, they want a big opportunity at hand before they're going to make that decision. Yeah, certainly net, like that close to town helps us a mm -hmm. lot. And so where we're focusing kind of checks all the boxes for now. It's, you know, there's a road that leads into the middle of that core gold area. It's close to town. It's surrounded by, um, you know, quite a, a, a deep knowledge. We, we, some of those block models that we discussed are all right there. So we're working with a strong data set that increases our confidence that these targets are, you know, perspective and are going to actually help us realize the value. Perfect. Well, I'm excited for you to get back out there this winter and start drilling. I know you're probably sick of people being asked, saying that they're excited for you to get back drilling, but that is fun to, to happen, I'm sure. Absolutely, absolutely. And before we do that, you know, I just want to make sure that we get out and we tell the story that, you know, we're going to talk a lot about the topics that you've, um, you've asked about. And thank you for doing that. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, thanks for coming. Great.